members of the media. Recording in progress. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> um, uh, thanks, Fatou. Um, yeah, I think uh, first congratulations to Mamelodi Sundowns. Congratulations to to uh, particularly the entire team, um, the technical staff. Um, this um, this brave group of players. Um, congratulations to senior management, the Motsipe family, and uh, to the Yellow Nation, the supporters, because uh, it's been a long wait. So, um, you know, they say good things come to those who wait, and um, yeah, it was worth the wait because uh, it was filled with a lot of drama. Some good football from both teams, uh, some moments where we were under a bit of pressure and we had to remain strong, especially in the second half. Uh, but that's because also they, they're a very good side, they have very good players and they have a very good coach. Uh, the, the turn for them was when they changed and they went into a back three when they introduced Mashiko. And then uh, Dove played a little bit as a left centre half. Uh, and they protected the half spaces a lot better, which was the spaces that we were finding in the first half. And we had no access to those spaces and we, we were forced to go a little bit wider. But by going wide, we were then confronted with very aggressive pressing from, from the opposition, which, which worked very well for them. So uh, it would not be right, uh, not to mention how well they played. Uh, Cape Town City, a worthy opponent, and that's why we had a good final. We had a good final because we had uh, two very good teams with uh, very good players, and and uh, even the influence of the subs subs uh, assisted both sides to come into the game. But should not have gone into penalties. We missed so many chances; it was unbelievable. And um, yeah, we live and learn. I I said earlier. Uh, it's two lessons for us and big, big, big lessons, particularly looking at how long this season is. The first one is we have to learn that we are not a very good side without the ball. Uh, we need the ball. We, we, we live off the ball. It gives us enthusiasm. It gives us confidence. And when we do have the ball, we, we dominate matches and we give ourselves an opportunity to, to, to win football matches. And then the other one is just be a bit more ruthless, you know. It's a, it's a lesson we have to take out of this game, is, is convert the chances that we create and not leave the game hanging. But uh, long season, uh, I'm sure these lessons will come in very handy as we, as we face a lot more very difficult moments this season. And that substitution really, really did not help us because uh, yeah, we had worked a little bit very hard on the schemes on, on our high press with Cape Town City and particularly because they, they use a player like Mokeke a little bit on the other side of the pitch and I've spoken extensively about the role that he plays. It's not easy to deal with Cape Town City's build-up diamond. But Kutumela has a little bit of experience with regards to, to, to managing that sort of structure. And we needed his intelligence, uh, his intensity, and his ability to just uh, not just press, but also have the second movement after the press. And, and not a lot of players in South Africa have this ability to, to have one action which is aggressive in the defensive part, and then continue to participate in, in, in the progression of, of the attack after the ball has been regained. Recording in progress. So, so we, lost, we lost the dynamism, we lost the intensity, and we lost uh, the aggression that he gives us against the ball, uh, particularly in their build-up. And then we struggled a little bit when Kemet came on because we had, to, we had to work a little bit differently and we had to press a little bit different because Kemet's strength is not 100% Kutumela's strength. And we struggled particularly in, in containing the movements of, of, of Mokeke and Odada when they went into the half spaces. Um, but yeah, we settled a little bit uh, going into extra time and we were a little bit more aggressive. Uh, and once we tried to solve our football problems with our technique alone, because you can still solve the technique, but you need a little bit more than just technique. 
uh, you need the aggression, you need, uh, you need the concentration. Uh, and we had that a little bit better in the second half, in, well, in the, in the extra time. Um, but yeah, uh, I think we'll assess Kutumela and see whether he's... Uh, it doesn't look too severe. I saw him dancing in the changing room and I asked him, I said, I said, I thought you were injured. So, so it was a good sign to see him dancing and doing that celebration. Lights him on the like this one with their hands. So it was good, it was good to see him doing that. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, the good thing is we trust our players. Uh, we trust them. And we, we, we trust Dennis Onyango. We had a little bit of a chat, him and I, before the penalty shootout. And um, a, a couple of words were spoken. <laughs> between him and myself, but, um, and that stays between him and myself. But he's a beast. Uh, Dennis uh, always comes to the rescue of the team. I mean, there was a big save even in the first half on transition, uh, and he kept us in the game, but, but that's why he's, he's one of the best on the African continent. Uh, time and time again, he, he pulls through for the team, and we've seen him do this so many, many times. And in a moment where we needed him to, to be brave and fight for the team, that's exactly what he did. And that sort of energy galvanized the rest of the group in believing and giving hope to, to the team. And, and, and that's, what, that's what we look for in our senior players. And they have the quality to contribute. But as I said, it's a collective effort. It's a very, very good team effort. And in difficult moments, we stayed together and we fought. And, uh, Again, kudos to, to the group and uh, kudos to, to Dennis uh, for a well-deserved man of the match accolade. Well, I think, I think a lot of credit needs to be given to, to the senior management of the club uh, for the vision. I mean, uh, a couple of seasons ago, the club was very clear that they've got to drop the average age in the squad. That gives possibilities for longevity for sustained success but having said that you also cannot forget the contributions of the previous groups because we sit in a situation where we've got to win every single match because of what we call football heritage and football heritage starts even with the previous group and the previous group before that this group has the possibility to win the MTA, MTNA trophy because of the previous group last season that, that qualified for the MTN8 uh, by winning the title. And in that previous group, you had the contributions of Shompo, you had the contributions of Sugar, you had the contributions of Langa and, and many others who are unfortunately not part of this group. But to be able to lift the trophy, you needed the efforts and the contributions of the previous group. And we shouldn't forget that. Uh, when we speak about this group and the success of the MTN8, we mustn't forget the work that has been done, not just in creating a winning culture at the club, but also this heritage of, 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 of inducing the pressure of winning trophies.